Well, hello, game cats, headsets, whatever VR headset you have. This is Headset Hash. I'm Sci Fi Game Cat Henry, and uh, this is going to be a discussion show. And uh, yeah, hang on to your juice box. Hello, game cats. Oops, let me turn headsets. that off. Well, there was a heck of a delay there. Alrighty. So, what is headset hash? Let me get back to my notes here. This is going to be a shit show the first time out. I guarantee it. Well, first let's talk about that thumbnail. The thumbnail, I wanted to do something different. It's... As a movie geek, it's an old movie poster for a movie called Enzio with uh, Robert Mitchum. It's in the public domain, so if you're, I can edit it. I can throw it up there and make it look like a movie poster. Actually, a movie card, which they don't, or a lobby card, which they don't, they don't do anymore. They haven't done it in a long time. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. What is, back to what is headset hash? Um, hash, not in the definition you're thinking of. Um, let me take this off, get my glare, plus the bifocals make it, so I have to do this all the time. Um, not like dabs or concentrate or something like that, it's, uh, or even corned beef hash, a meal of all kinds of different things thrown in. It's hash as in to talk about things, to get to a conclusion in a discussion. And I like uh, alliteration, so it's got two H's. <laughs> Sorry, I keep glancing at my son over there. He's on the couch, not mowing the lawn. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, this thing all started like about a week ago. Um, I just had this crazy idea that uh, I'm deep into without parole. Um, you may have seen some of the timestamps and such that I've done. What are you doing? Uh, it's going to be a long broadcast if he keeps doing weird stuff in the background. Um, and I thought it'd be cool that all the game cats could call in. Um, but I'm also deep into a game called No Man's Sky, and there used to be a YouTuber, well, there still is, he's doing, he's not doing No Man's Sky anymore, he's doing uh, Star Citizen. But he would have on Friday nights a live call-in show, and it was, it was really cool because everyone could talk about their favorite game. And what's coming up and what their uh, predictions are going to be for the next update, stuff like that. So, I ripped off from a lot of sources. I ripped off from Cobra. I ripped off from Without Parole. There you go. Full disclosure. Um, the purpose of the channel is just to talk about issues, um, games, even nerd talk. I plan on doing a lot of nerd talk. So, let's get to the first topic. Oh, let's also do that. PSVR 2 Developer Conference. Uh, if I had colors, this would be the point where we'd start the conversation. Uh, what we expect from the PSVR 2 Developer Conference. Actually, Summit, not a conference. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a lot of leaks a lot of information because I'm sure that the developers have NDAs that they've signed so they can't really say what they're working on or any new specs on the headset, uh, functionality of the headset, stuff like that. But things could leak, um, things could be hinted at, things could be strongly hinted at. We just don't know. It's coming up on August 3rd so there's a lot of a lot of time between now and then. Um, yeah. If I had someone else to talk to about, we have a show. <laughs> uh, like I said, it's going to be a shit show, but, but whatever. We'll keep pressing on. Um, Sniper Elite VR came out on all platforms, uh, came out for PlayStation VR, came out for Quest, came out for PC. A lot of variations in the game. Uh, of 
course you got the aim with the PlayStation VR. You've got um, foveated rendering with the Quest. So there's pluses and minuses, but you got portability. And frankly, better tracking. I love the aim, but it really depends upon your setup. Anything in the PlayStation VR depends upon your setup. I We have um, hardwood floors. Uh, two of our walls are windowed. The third one has a door. And wood paneling all around. Real high gloss. So there's reflective surfaces everywhere. These I just put up for the show. This was just, just this wall before. Um, so my tracking is really really bad. The best place for me to play is in front of one of the windows with the curtains drawn because there's no reflection. You gotta do what you gotta do. With the Quest, you know, you've got the infrared tracking. But I've actually had problems with the infrared tracking on occasion with the Quest. Um, what I've, the most open spot I have in the living room is right in front of one of the windows. So if light's coming in from that window really strongly, you're gonna have a lot of infrared light coming in with the two. So you got tracking problems. But overall, the, the tracking, I believe, to be better on a Quest than it is on the PlayStation. But the PlayStation is still my favorite. That's another thing I probably should have said in the top of the show about what headset hash is. It's mostly PlayStation VR. A bit of Quest. Very, very little bit of please, uh, PC VR. Because it's... Mostly because of the cost of entry. I mean, I was, I was lucky I... I fell into a little bit little bit of money with, with an inheritance from an aunt. That, anyway, it's a long story. I managed to get this uh, Acer Predator Helios 300, blah, blah, blah. It does pretty good for, um, for computer VR, PC VR. Most people can't afford that, where it was like 1200 bucks, and I got it on a good deal. But... Uh, yeah, so we'll say two-thirds PSVR, three-eighths Quest, and like a sixteenth of PC VR. Check the math on that because it's very wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, um, Sniper Elite. I, I actually haven't bought in the game yet because I'm torn on which system to get it for. I would love to have it on PlayStation VR with, with the aim. But it's a pain in the butt for me to close the curtains every time and set up the camera and all this stuff for what would be the most immersive experience on it. The, uh, the Quest, well, you got the foveated rendering, but you got better tracking. You could get, or even I have a 3D printer, I could print out a stock for it, but there's magnets and stuff you have to get for it. But and PCBR, I just, I just, it doesn't interest me in, in getting it on that because I'd still have to set up either the uh, the link cable to the Quest or do the it's a Quest One as well. I should, I should mention that too. And my PSVR is also on PS4, not on PS5. I haven't been able to get hold of one yet or <laughs> save the money from donating plasma to to get one. Anywho. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which way to go. If there was some here, we could talk about it, but, eh, okay. Well, let's go on to the next one. State of play. The big surprise. Moss Book 2. Right out of the gate. That was, that was crazy. I mean, I... I always work during the, uh, uh... Games cast. So that's kind of why I started the, doing the timestamps too, is because I'm watching them as I put them in anyway. And it was, I thought, an improvement for the show and, and the community. So, but anyway, I managed to, I had a break when I hit the downtown transfer center. I managed to have a break there for like five minutes and I caught just the Moss trail. I'm like, yeah, that's it. I'm done. I don't need to see any more. This is all I need out of the state of play. Um, a lot of little clues in there as to what's going on. Uh, some people think that the main villain is an owl. I've heard some people say it's a snake. We don't know. We don't know. Um, of course, some of those people say, well, it's obvious you see the feather, but you know, 
a feather could be anything. It could be maybe you ride a, a hawk or an, an owl or something in the game. We, we, we don't know. It's too little, too little gameplay for uh, that much kind of speculation. But it does look amazing. And where the camera follows instead of you being stationary, that's a big improvement too. Yeah. So those are my thoughts on it. <laughs> We'll move on. And that brings us to if you watch Without Parole, the Gamecast Live. Um, if you're a member of Without Parole Discord, Zaka Taka has a dirt rally tournament going on there. It's in the Discord. Um, it's got its own, um, not really a tournament uh, section, but it's, it's under the games dirt rally. And he's got some details on how you can join the league. So there'll be games every week. It's not just the uh, the, the Sunday event that uh, is usually a multiplayer event with all the game cats. It's uh, it's an ongoing event, and it's I I played a little bit earlier today. Uh, my time is limited, but <laughs> Sundays I get to play, do play a little. I played a little No Man's Sky too, and couldn't do the damn weekend event again. But um, yeah, it was good getting back into Dirt Rally. Um, didn't do too well. <laughs> I kept each track I slid off and had to be recovered at least once. One of the tracks it was three times, so there's like 30 second penalty. Plus, I kept jumping the gun off of the starting line. That's another 10 second penalty. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. If you got the game, definitely join the tournament. So. Oh, go back to, no, Sniper Elite. Had there been anyone else who has played it, then he could rate it. This week's scale, uh, B. Arthur to Selma Hike, because it's so hot out and we're doing it on hotness. Joke, joke, yes. All right, then uh, what would normally happen is I'd have another topic for discussion, um, uh, voting section. What overused plot device is still good? What, what game device or theme is still, are you still a sucker for? For me personally, uh, anything space, anything zombie, uh, used to be anything gun related, but Call of Duty pretty much shot that down. I hate that game now. <laughs> My son's making motions behind me. He's not flipping me off, which is surprising, but... <laughs> so, yeah, that's one vote for zombies. That's, that's all we got so far. <laughs> Oh boy, last segment I got is the award goes to achievements. If anyone in the dis in my Discord, uh, personal achievements too, I mean, if you got a promotion at work, but mostly if, if you got a platinum in a game, if you got, um, if you did a speed run in a game, stuff like that. Yeah. So that's really the, the show. I didn't make any movie re references because I, I didn't talk a lot, but I usually make a lot of movie references. That's why I put that up there. We can talk about Loki. We can talk about uh, Black Widow. Oh, I haven't seen Black Widow yet. So, well, yeah, this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get better. Uh, we'll have more people watching, hopefully. More people calling in. Someone calling in. Yeah, I feel like uh, Friday night in high school again. <laughs> uh, I guess no one would never mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> My son just shot me a weird look. <laughs> so I, I guess this will be a wrap up because uh, yeah, we got nothing. So I'm Sci-Fi Game Cat Henry. Thanks for watching and uh, peace out. Live long and prosper. <laughs>